Time to play with some clay. Researching old uh, cowboy tack from the 1800s and uh, saddles and, and, and items like that. The uh, saddles back then had these high seat areas. Uh, I think it's called a cantle, but I'm not certain on that. Um, I'm not a cowboy, so I, I don't know what the terminology for uh, the saddle is. The uh, fork in the front was, uh, well, it, it wasn't, it didn't have wide puffy sides to it to, like modern day saddles. They were, uh, see if I can find an example of one. Well, see, this is a modern day saddle. See the, uh, the rounded thing here that, uh, is supposed to help you stay in the saddle and the back uh, cantle or whatever it's called is a little shorter and this is probably a, a saddle from old, probably the 30s or 40s uh, this is another example of a saddle from today there we go and you can see a, the low back and the uh, big uh, bulbous uh, things on the side of the uh, tree or the uh, horn or whatever the fork or whatever they call it so you, if I was to put a saddle like that on an 1890s uh, type horse it would just not uh, be factually right but this is what I'm looking for is uh, bridles for that period and uh, so I, that's basically what I've been doing today, and I'll tell you why I'm doing it, and it's because I did this sculpture oh, probably 20 years ago, maybe a little longer, and it, I cast it up in bronze. I sold one copy of it. It wasn't very big. It was a, probably 20 some odd inches long by maybe uh, 7 or 8 inches tall, <clears throat> but I've I was going through some old photographs, and I mean the, the kind shot with a regular film camera, because back when I did this, I didn't have a digital camera, and uh, I really liked the subject. I liked the uh, cowboy here playing his guitar, the bat wing shafts, uh, the young lady on the prairie, uh, pioneer type uh, girl. Uh, kind of demure in her attitude walking along in back of her she's got her hands holding on to a bouquet of uh, prairie flowers that he's given her the horse is showing his uh, jealousy of his attention to her uh, by nipping at her dress and I just thought that was a great subject I call it Montana Serenade and I'm actually thinking of revisiting this because I don't know what ever happened to the mold. I'm sure it's gone bad way long before now because it's been, like I said, 25, maybe even 30 years ago that I did this piece. Uh, it was one of the first pieces I did when I first moved to Montana. And that was back in 87 when I moved here. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm thinking of doing. And I just thought I'd... Uh, fill you guys in as to what I was doing and uh, it's just I, I've decided I may not do the mountain man because I, I like this idea I just I was going like I said through old photographs yesterday and came across that and it uh, sparked my imagination again so I hope you all are having a good night and I'll see you next time Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.